breaking new developments after nearly six weeks. The jury has officially been dismissed now in the Rebecca Zahal wrongful death civil suit. Yesterday, after less than a day of deliberations, a jury found Adam Shackney responsible for Zahal's death. And this morning, the Zahal family waiving additional punitive damages in the case. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala joins us from the downtown courthouse, where a short time ago, Adam Shackney had a lot to say about the verdict. Jack Nye says he's absolutely mortified after hearing that verdict yesterday, but says he's still the same person he was in 2011 when the tragedy first happened, as well as 2013 when the lawsuit was filed. The jurors refused to speak to the media this morning, but Shaq Nye did right on these courthouse steps. Let me just say this about, the, you know, I've been living with, you know, horrible false accusations, and yeah, they bother me, but I'll say this, the people I come in contact with, be it uh, friends, co-workers, acquaintances, strangers. Uh, uh, it's very gratifying to know that I've never come across one who thought for a second that I had anything to do with it. And yeah, it bothers me, but it doesn't bother anybody else because they know me and they see me for what I am. Adam Shackney came into the courtroom dressed casually and then spoke confidently outside just one day after jurors found him responsible for the death of Rebecca Zahal. His lawyers say it came as a shock, but this isn't over. They'll be pursuing a very aggressive appeal to prove Shackney's innocence. He was ordered to pay $5 million to the Zahal family after yesterday's verdict. Keith Greer, Zahal's family lawyer, says he's going to petition the sheriff's department to reopen a criminal case. The sheriff's department sticks by its suicide ruling, but says it's open to meeting with Zahal's family and looking at the new evidence that may have been presented during the civil suit. But Greer had strong words in response to that. Sheriff Gore, it's not new evidence. It's the evidence that's been right in front of your face for seven years. Shaq Nye's lawyers say they will file that appeal as soon as they can. The House family lawyer says he was expecting it and he's ready for it. Reporting downtown, Mimi Alcala, 10 News.